Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Katie. I'm here back in my inventory room to pull this week's orders. I did switch my handling time in my eBay store to four day handling um, right now with my current work situation and recording for YouTube and then also listing. I didn't want to fall behind and get anyone's orders out late. So I went ahead and switched my entire eBay store to four day handling. It was already um, set automatically, I think seven days for Facebook, um, three days for Macari, and I believe two or three days for Etsy. So eBay was the only one that had one or two day handling. I just went ahead and switched it. So we're going to pull this week's orders and sorry if I'm talking a lot with my hands, I tend to do that. So, so far for the week, we are pulling four Facebook marketplace orders. Uh, let's see. This is the part where I get everything open, um, meaning my book marketplace tabs and my uh, eBay app so that way I can find the item location in the room somewhere. Okay, first up on Facebook is a shirt that I have had quite listed for quite some time. Uh, let's see, it's going to be in box C. Here it is. It is brand 88 size medium. I wouldn't run, recommend picking this one up. Um, this is back when I was still selling clothing. I was getting things for uh, 99 cents or less. So I would pick up some brands that were less than desirable. This is one of those, but it did take it, I'm going to say three years, maybe four years to sell. Pretty much make an educated guess on when something was listed just based on my uh, photography background. Um, this one's here. So somewhere in here, you will see that this picture was taken with wood behind it. That is my actual fence from where I used to live. And now I don't. And now you see my photography background from my other videos of unboxings. So I've come a long way. So I'm really proud of the work um, that I put in to get the work that I have now. And you can probably see that based on, you know, this shirt selling based on when you see newer things that I've sold come up. All right. Next is a Homer rhythm plate. Um, this one was hand painted and here it is. There we go. Put that to the side. So this here is a hand painted rhythm Homer Laughlin plate. Um, most decorative plates don't really go for a lot of money. This one I've seen through, um, looking at the comps for this. Um, this was just like a standard green, uh, Homer Laughlin plate. It probably would have been around, uh, 15 or $18. Um, I did list it as hand painted. I did expect it actually to sell in my Etsy store, but it did sell on Facebook marketplace and it sold for, I believe $30. Um, this is one of those things that came, um, out of my mother's estate that I got for free. All right, next is this set of tall crystal Waterford like uh, salt and pepper shakers. I took a best offer on these. I had them listed at $86. Um, these are some salt and pepper shakers. I believe I paid $4 for these. Um, if, if it came out of a different set, because I haven't kept track of all the sets that I've bought, but I haven't spent more than $4 on any of these salt and pepper shaker sets. So this one sold for $70 um, with shipping included. Normally I... Um, charge shipping separately, but they had specifically asked me to include the shipping and seeing that I only paid $4 and this was going to be a really good sale. And it made my day when I got this first thing this morning, I went ahead and accepted. So if you're watching this, thanks for making my day. I was having a pretty bad morning until this sale came in. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And lastly from Facebook marketplace and out of that same TU bin, another item out of my uh, mother's estate that again, I got for free. So this sold on Facebook marketplace. It sold for $5 plus shipping. It is an Olivia Newton, John, uh, 45 RPM record. So crazy thing this week, we have no Etsy orders. It always shocks me. Maybe we'll get something over the weekend, but for this week, we haven't got anything. Okay. So on Macari this week, we too have, uh, two orders going out and one interesting, um, thing that happened that honestly has not happened to me. I don't think, I don't think it's ever happened to me or it's only happened once. Um, so what happened is in my last, what sold over the weekend video, when I went looking for, um, the item that I couldn't find in one of my boxes that I had sold, I had actually sold a Memorax CD player. What I shipped the uh, buyer was a Sony Dream Machine. That was entirely my fault. Um, I blame you for not letting me know in the comments because clearly I held it up and I showed the picture and it was different. So it must have been your fault. No one told me. I can't take responsibility for that. 
No, I take full responsibility for that. Um, I didn't catch it though, and I wish I would have. The buyer contacted me and, you know, was fairly upset. Um, understandably, I did apologize profusely. Um, in the end, it ended up, they ended up being more than accommodating. They, you know, left the conversation happy. I did go ahead and refund them their entire purchase on Macari. And I went ahead and uh, let them know that I would be shipping the correct item out either tomorrow or Monday and that they did not have to return the item. It was my fault. And like I said, I take full responsibility for that. And I did apologize to them. So if that ever happens to you, it's usually it won't make or break your business. Um, lucky for me, it wasn't an astronomical sale. It wasn't like it was hundreds of dollars, which if it was, it, it still would have been my fault. The price doesn't change that it was my fault. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find this Memorex um, CD player and get that shipped out to them. I also have to make sure I go through my stores and remove this Sony Dream Machine because clearly it's it's a loss and that happens and you just got to, just, again, you just got to take responsibility and fix the situation. Here it is. All right, here it is, the Memorex stereo CD clock radio. How I confused this big old CD player for a Sony Dream Machine, I have no idea. Um, I was feeling a little under the weather those two days that I had um, recorded that video. I don't know if you've seen it. If you have seen it, you may see that I was breathing a little heavily more than normal. Um, something just got into my system and I was just exhausted and I just wasn't at my 100%. So I'm going to make up for that now. <laughs> a Build-A-Bear. And you're going to be in box nine. It's a Build-A-Bear bunny. There we go. A big old fluffy bunny. Okay, so I know that I've showed selling game replacement pieces before. I got this whole Glad container for $1 at a yard sale. It's filled with what I assume are either backgammon pieces or Othello pieces, but I've never seen red and white Othello pieces. So <laughs> I bought the whole thing. I got the idea from Commonwealth Flipper, or you might also know him as Commonwealth Picker really enjoy his videos. If you haven't subscribed to him, I really recommend going to check out his channel. Obviously, if you found my channel, his channel is way more popular, so you've probably seen him before you've seen me. <laughs> but what I did is I just counted out how many of the pieces that I had bought. I set them into groups of 10, and then I just shipped them in this little tiny baggie. All right, that's it for Macari. Moving on to eBay. I have six orders going out this week. And a couple of them, I either sent a best offer or I took a best offer. One um, is my weekly dud, which I always seem to have just because I have a lot of older inventory in my store that I'm trying to move out. So let's see. First one is going to be in box Z. So we're going to start off right with the dud. It's going to be this here. It is a Battle Slots PC game. I picked this up for a dollar at the dollar store and it sold for a dollar fifty plus shipping that's a dud folks but it's also a learning lesson you just don't pick it up again 22 is a set of temptations bakeware oven mitts i love this brand personally um, it seems like most people who like this brand have their own color um, that they like and they stick with. I found these at my local Salvation Army. They were $2. Um, I have another set of green ones. These are the um, Old World. It's got a mixture of Old World and Floral Lace if you're a tempt Temptations Bakeware person. Um, they are the blue. This is not the blue I collect. I collect the lighter blue with the brown uh, piping. But yeah, this one is the reason I didn't keep that this is blue. And it sold for $10 plus shipping. Next one is a cassette. Um, I learned to play harmonica set in box five. Oh, look at that little giraffe. Hello, giraffe. Nope. Is that it? Nope. A learn to play harmonica cassette. 
it didn't sell for much but honestly i have maybe a couple cents into it based on the estate sale that i got it from so not a bad deal is a coca-cola glass that i believe i paid two dollars for at my local salvation army it's tucked away in all of these stuffed animals keeping it safe here we go all right so here is that this will be going obviously in a box it is glass it will be stuffed with uh packing pillows and bubble wrap two more things left to grab we're looking for a salt and pepper shaker and a purse um salt and pepper shaker is going to be in box one down there if we can find it mason jars and turkeys a monkey you're not a salt and pepper shaker here we go wood heads you'll see those on the screen somewhere soon if not already and so that is our second salt and pepper shaker going out this week and last but not least is a very old listing again that i had it's a coach purse that i got from the goodwill bins so i probably have a couple cents into it no more than a dollar or two i've had this listed for so long that uh, I had it originally listed for $23. I sent them a best offer of $12 plus shipping. Um, now I haven't looked at this order, but I just realized the shipping is quite high. Um, it's about $14.49 and it's actually going first class mail international, um, to the Russian Federation. So that's interesting. I've never shipped to Russia. Um, this is also a good time for me to point out that I stopped using the eBay global shipping program at the beginning of December and my international sales have gone through the roof. Um, eBay now offers a, uh, I believe it's a global standard shipping. I use that any of my items that are under four pounds, which you've seen my inventory room, most of it is. Um, even my heaviest pair of shoes is no more than three pounds. So anything over four pounds, you can ship USPS first class international, which somehow does not seem fair when we pay so much for shipping and it has to be under a pound, but they can ship it across the sea. If it's four pounds, they pay their regular shipping to ship international. Um, whereas, and it, and it usually doesn't include the, uh, custom fees. Now with the eBay global shipping program, eBay charges the uh, customs fees up front, and sometimes a buyer might not have those fees, but eBay collects them anyway as like a just in case because they think they might, but not always does custom catch everything coming through or they don't always have to pay that custom fee. So when you're shipping with just the standard uh, first class international like I am, you are more likely to get an international buyer because your shipping fee is going to be much lower than a person who's using the eBay global shipping program. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and ask, and I will go over it the best I can, um, or I'll send you to some articles or some links where um, that'll be helpful. So you can either comment that down below or you can find me at downriverflipper at gmail.com. I know you're gonna be buried. Okay, it's a little crumpled up, but here we go. Just a small little coach bag. It is, uh, it is authenticated. It's probably worth more than $12, but I've had it listed for so long. I wanted some movement in my store. And I also need to make room for all this new inventory coming in. And these boxes, like I said, are filling up. So either I'm going to need some more shelves or I'm going to have to take over that room over there. <laughs> all right. So that's it for pulling um, my orders for the week. Um, I'm going to get these shipped out tomorrow, which is Saturday for me only because, um, while I have a rather large mailbox and my mail lady does not mind scanning all my packages at one time, if I can, I like to break them up as much as possible for her. So this would be ending up going with all of my weekend sales too on Monday. So I tend to try to get as many out on Saturday as I can. So that way, there's not so many for her to scan on Monday. These bags and start figuring out how I'm gonna ship everything. Um, this one's gonna go in a poly mailer so I don't have to do anything to this. I am going to put it in a 
Ziploc baggie. We'll do that before we ship it. This needs a box. This will go in a regular, the shirt will go in a regular poly mailer. This will go in a bubble mailer. Oh, I am going to grab a Ziploc for that too. This will go in a poly mailer. Everything's kind of easy to ship so far. Or maybe I just grabbed easy things. Uh, this will go in a poly mailer. This will go in a bubble mailer. Yeah. I know it might seem crazy that I put everything in Ziplocs or a lot of things in Ziplocs. I'm just so overly cautious of things getting wet or ruined. I'm overly cautious for the sake of the customer. This will go in a regular poly mailer. This will, other salt and pepper shaker will go in a box. All right, now we're left with some bulky things. The record. This will get sandwiched between some cardboard and slipped into a regular uh, poly mailer, also in a Ziploc bag. Just like the Sony Dream Machine that wasn't meant to get shipped out. The Memorex will go in the same white sturdy box with some bubble wrap and um, some packing pillows. This is a little bigger and would have been perfect the first time, but we got to learn from our mistakes. So for the plate, I'm going to ship it in this record mailer. It is a uh, 12 by 12 and a half, and it does have um, like perforations already made for thickness. I've shipped other things in these besides records already that were mostly flat. Um, it has worked out really well. So this will get super padded and then wrapped in this box. As for the Coke glass, that is going priority because it is a little over one pound. And so it's gonna go in this mailing box here. It is a box for a seven, seven, six. And so this will get really, really padded really well and then shipped out. If you like these kind of videos, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate everyone coming back, especially if you're coming back from the unboxings because I know these are way different than the unboxings. Um, I think there might be some big changes coming. So if that's the case, you're gonna see a lot more videos and a lot more listings. So we're gonna see how this plays out over the next couple weeks. And I hope to all have you follow along with me. I hope your week was awesome and I hope your weekend is just as good, if not better. Bye.